Acura RSX brake change. First step, you want to jack your car. But before you jack it, you want to chalk. Put some blocks behind the wheels for safety. Okay, I got this tool. It's for piston. How to use it? Take this one. Put it on here. Find it, that's why. And you want to flip this one upside down so it goes snug and fit. Then, you see, you want to hold it properly, just the pressure a little bit to the bottom. Like, and then make sure it's tightening and stiff. Then you want to go this way to push the piston inside. But before you do that, make sure whenever don't go out one shot, just go little by little and leave the oil to go in. Okay. So now the piston went to the side back. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen it up, take this one out, the back, you got your piston in. Now you're ready to install your brake pads. Before you do that, you need to wear gloves like this. You need to have a brush. You need to give it a rub a little bit in this corner over here. So that way, when you put this stuff back on together, it goes thick. And you use brush. Make sure you don't touch the gasket or the piston. Brake caliper out. The drill, loosen this bolts, push it out like this. Another bolt in the other side. It's come out, look beautiful, nice. So copy double hit like this. Go out one, two, down ski, one, two, and you want to brush it like this. Fast, beautiful. You always give it a little touch, grind in this pad so it goes free in between. And then make your life easy. Just a little bit, because sometimes I have a paint residue on it. And after you install it, it becomes like really stiff. One side works, the other side not. So you want it to be balanced and level and when you press the brake, this can push both sides together. You don't want one side to work and the other side not. So okay. So your brake pads, you put them in, you put your assembly brick in. Then you're gonna get another pad, this is the front one. You go this way. Push in. Push in again. If it doesn't go easy, you need to use a screwdriver to pull or pull towards this side here. And now the screwdriver is the other side. That screwdriver. Okay, now it's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna take it from here. And then it looks like this. You see? Got your pads. Yep. Now we're gonna start changing the rotor. So this tool is most important. I know I showed you in the previous how it's wrong. Do this, screws off. Put this. The router is not coming out. You wanna I hit a little bit because sometimes it's kind of stiff. Go in the middle. Give it a hit. The other side. The side. The bottom. The top. And 
to see if it's coming out. If it's not, I'm gonna give it a very good hit. You see how I have it. Here you watch everything. This one it's tight. So the reason why, because this is rusty. screws so we're gonna go this way this way then this one goes this way yes see got to go you put your two screws on and you tighten them you can use this um, torque wrench to torque screws like this but just one light hit not really hard or five or six just one let's try snug like this okay I'm good then I hold it put the pressure towards the area I want it tight one that's it lock two good done you put your pads on. Yes, goes in. You put your screws on, bolts from the back. and make sure everything is going according codes so again there's a pin in here just from the back why this one if you reach that end of the pads is gonna make some noise it's gonna tell you you need a brake change make sure that one is goes towards the back at the front side. Okay, here we are coming back to the piston. So sometimes try to put your piston on. It's not fit. The bolt is not aligned from here to this area. Just push this bolt in a little bit. Put the pot the top screw first. Okay, 